Hi, Stephen Hand from Staccata in Hobart. In the last couple of videos, I looked at Paradox 14 of George Silver's Paradoxes of Defence, where he explains very plainly what he means by true fights, uh, which are made up of the true times, the four true times, and false fights, which contain the four false times. And I, I've explained how there's really very there's really no way to interpret it other than the in a true time the hand goes in front of and precedes the body and feet and in a false time the foot goes in front of uh, and precedes the hand. Now people who argue for another interpretation often latch on to a passage that occurs much later in Silver's works and it comes from brief instructions upon my paradoxes of defence and I've got a, a facsimile of that here. Now unlike paradoxes which was a printed, uh, printed and published book, brief instructions is a draft manuscript and most of it seems to be a fairly solid piece of work but right at the end we have a set of what are basically working notes, right? And there's a real sort of stream of consciousness feel when we look at these. However, there's some real gems amongst them. There's some really useful bits of information. And the critics of the Paradox 14 interpretation have latched onto one sentence out of this and have used that to back up their interpretation. What Silver says at the end of brief instructions, he says, the time of the foot is when you step forward to strike. Now at first glance, looking at that in complete isolation, it seems to create a bit of an issue. Um, the time of the foot is when you step forward to strike. It seems like that's saying, okay, if you step forward uh, as you strike, then that's a false time. But let's look at it in context. The whole passage, firstly, that that's not even the whole sentence. The whole sentence reads, the time of the foot is when you step forward to strike or when you gather towards your own right side. And I've, I've got to say that I've seen one of my major critics or, or, or one of the major critics of my interpretation um, repeatedly gathering towards his right side um, in his interpretation. So. I don't know how he justifies that when Silver specifically says it's a false time. Um, but the very next sentence says, The time of the hand and foot is when you tread your ground in course to strike. Now, if we look at both of those statements together, either Silver is directly contradicting himself, uh, either he's saying, saying that stepping forward as you attack is a false time and then right afterwards saying, well, stepping forward is your attack is a true time. So either he's directly contradicting himself and contradicting what he's already said in Paradox 14, or there's a little more going on. So how can we actually look at these, these passages and work out what the truth is? Well, let's look at the second one first. The time at the hand and foot is when you tread your ground in course to strike. Now, I can't think of any way in which you could interpret this except to say that it means that you you step as you strike right as you strike you're stepping so silver is specifically saying here that if you step as you strike it's a true time so what about that first comment well the time of the foot is when you step forward to strike. So if I say when you step, uh, if I say I step forward to do something, it could be interpreted to mean it could be interpreted to mean that I'm doing the thing as I'm stepping forward. But it could also be interpreted to mean that I'm stepping forward and then doing the thing. All right? Uh, if I step forward to shake hands, right? I'm doing the step 
and then I'm shaking hands. If I step forward to grab something, I'm stepping forward, <coughs> excuse me, and then I'm grabbing something. So there's a clear, I do the one, I do the step, and then I do the thing. So in this case, we're either left with one of two interpretations. Either I can take that first line in complete isolation and say that that, that silver is directly contradicting what he says in paradox 14. More importantly, directly contradicting what he says in the very next line of text. And he's saying that when you step, if you step when you attack, it's a false time. Or I could look at it and say, well, it's highly unlikely that he would that he would mean to contradict himself in two lines, one after in, after the other. In the second one, in the second line, he specifically said that if you step as you attack, it's a true time. Time of the hand and foot is a true time. So therefore, it's highly probable that he's meant something completely different in the first line. And as I've shown, a perfectly normal uh, interpretation of, the, of when you step forward to strike is that you step forward and then you and then you strike. I step forward to shake hands, right? I step forward to strike. The foot is preceding the hand, and if I interpret it like that, then it makes sense with the following passage. It makes sense with paradox fourteen. It makes sense with every other passage in silver. There's an internal consistency. If I interpret it any other way, then there's internal inconsistencies. We've got silver directly contradicting himself, which I just don't think makes any sense at all. So in conclusion, we have a passage which is used in isolation by some people to show that to back up their idea that Silver is saying that any attack with a step is a false time. Not only is it contradicted by the very, the very next passage, which very clearly says that an attack with a step is a true time, right? But when you look at it, when you analyse the English, it's clearly talking about an action where the foot is preceding the, preceding the hand and that, by the definition that Silver has already given, is a false time. So this, all this passage shows is that what Silver said in Paradox 14, what I've already explained in my first two videos, is true. If your hand leads your foot in attack, that is a true time. If your foot leads your hand in, in attack, that is a false time. And in that fight, the speed of your hand is tied to the speed of your foot and has lost its freedom. Thanks for watching.